Hi, in this video, we're going to learn another factoring technique. It's called factoring by grouping. And we will start with an example. Factor out the common factor in the expression 3xa plus 2x plus 21a plus 14. Common factoring is actually done by factoring each term and then factor out the common ones. So 3x a, we just write it down as a separate term. I will use red and white color font. It will make sense later. So you have 3x a, 2x, there's no other factoring involved. You just write down 2x. 21 is actually 3 times 7, and then we write down a. 14 is 2 times 7. Now, since we are doing common factor, common factoring the common here is x and then what we need to do is take out x 3a plus 2 is going to be left behind and will be written in a parenthesis the same case for the other set here this pair has nothing to do with this pair yet it will make sense later so here the common is 7 the non-common are 3a plus 2 they will both remain in a parenthesis so the ones that we the ones that are non-common are the red ink and they will stay in a parenthesis the common in the first pair of uh, terms is x it goes in front the third and the fourth term the second pair has a common of seven it goes in front how is this possible actually it's common factoring. Common factoring is like a reverse of distributive property. If we're going to multiply this back by distributive property, x times 3a is actually 3xa. x times 2 is 2x. 7 times 3a is 21a. 7 times 2 is 14. It's a reverse of distributive property. That's the common factoring. We're not going to multiply them back. Instead, we will do another round of common factoring now you should have noticed that the red ink are exactly the same and now this is the common factor of the sets of the terms we will write it down in front as one parenthesis and then x plus 7 is written on another parenthesis because if we multiply 3a plus 2 times x, it results to this part. 3a plus 2 times 7, it results to this part. But again, we are not multiplying. We are reversing the multiplication and it is called factoring. And we actually able to factor the expression. It is 3a plus 2 multiplied to x plus 7. If you multiply this one, this is your result. And that's actually called factoring by grouping what we just did is factoring by grouping factoring by grouping involves a lot of common factoring let's have the main concepts what is factoring by grouping when factoring a common monomial from pairs of terms then looking for a common binomial factor that is called factor factoring by grouping when do I use factoring by grouping? Usually you will know that you need to perform factoring by grouping because the given is consists of four, four terms. The problem consists of four terms. Now, how will your answer look? Actually, they are usually product of two binomials, just like a problem of a foil method, product of two binomials. Let's go try another example. Factor this given expression. Well, this is an easy category since there's obviously common factors between them, which is x minus 2. Here it is. There's the explanation. Notice that there are two terms. This is the first term. This is the second terms. And then it's changed color to distinguish this is the first and the second. Notice that in each term, there's common x minus 2. What you need to do, pull the common factor out of each term, x minus 2, and 
the non-common which is the 5x minus 3 that is left in each term after factoring out the common factor will actually be written in a separate parenthesis and actually it's done that's how you we just perform common factoring this is like a half done factoring by grouping let's try another example so as you can see this is an easy category we take out y minus 5 this that's the common factor between the two terms we just write it in a one parenthesis in front and then the non-common the, no, the one that we did not touch is 7 plus 3 will be written as another parenthesis we just write them together as 7y plus 3 the sign is actually dependent of the 3 is in depend, depends to the sign in front of it and it's done let's try another factor the polynomials this time it's the real deal problem that we need more steps and we will apply factoring by grouping because it is composed of four terms the factoring we learned before are actually factoring quadratics which is having a degree of two if you have higher than two then you have degree three and there are four terms you would that's your hint that you need to use factoring by grouping so form two binomials with a plus sign between them with a plus sign so this is the plus sign it's talking about negative is taken by 2 and then negative 4 and 14 this is the plus sign it's talking about form two binomials with a plus sign between them this is this negative 2 is actually a property of negative 2 and so it goes with it now what do you do next factor out common factor the common factor between them is m if we take out m squared here we have one m left if we take out m squared here we have seven factored out if we factor the seven m squared what is left is seven on the other hand you can check if you did your common factoring correctly you just multiply it back m squared times m is m cubed m squared times seven is seven m squared okay now this is your hint that should be left if we factor out something here notice that they are both negative and then this pair here are both positive your hint is that probably you're going to factor out a negative number so that you have a positive 7 actually the common factor is 2 factoring out a negative 2 you have a, an m here as non-common will be left inside the parentheses factoring out negative 2 from negative 14 it should be a positive 7 so you now have m plus 7 as the result after factoring out negative 2 if you multiply it back negative 2 times m is negative 2m negative 2 times 7 is negative 14 and now we're almost done the common fa common factors between them is m plus 7 we write it in front and then m squared minus 2 can be now combined in another parenthesis without a sign because the, this is actually the final answer and the final answer of a factoring by grouping is actually a product of two binomials product of two binomials and we were able to factor the given m cubed plus 7m squared minus 2m minus 14 using factoring by grouping Let's try another example. It's getting a little difficult, but don't fret. You have here, first, you separate them with a plus sign. And now you start figuring out the common factor. The common factor between these two terms is actually 9x squared. We can extract 9 and then we can extract x squared so what is left here is x what is left here if we extract or factor out 9x squared what is left is 1 so you have 9 x squared and then x plus 1 here we can extract negative 7 and if we factor out negative 7 here this is x negative 7 if you factor out negative 7 what is left is 1 
so you have x plus 1 and when we multiply it back it gives you back the correct binomial negative 7 times x negative 7 x negative 7 times 1 is negative 7 and so we have a common factor now the whole binomial x plus 1 they are common and we will factor it out we'll write it in front and we pair 9x squared minus 7 as one parenthesis and we found your factor of the given the answer is x squared no x plus 1 is multiplied to 9x squared minus 7 that's the factor of the given 9x cubed plus 9x squared minus 7x minus 7 okay i guess we are on our last example factor 6x squared minus 3x minus 4x plus 2 by grouping notice that it really says grouping but actually if you look at the middle part they can be combined but let's see how the factoring by grouping works on this problem first we will separate them with a plus sign in between so 6x squared minus 3x goes together and then plus negative 4x plus 2 goes together and then we extract the common factor the common factor between these two is 3 and then uh, the variable the common is x so if we take out 3x what is left here is 3x no 2x sorry take out 3 here we have 2x take out 3x you have negative 1 here so here's your hint you should come up with a negative 1 to come up with a negative 1 you would think that it should be a negative 2 that you factor out if we factor out negative 2 this becomes positive 2x if we take out negative 2 here it should be a negative 1 because negative 2 times 1 is a positive 2 so you have 2x minus 1 as a result of a binomial after factoring out negative 2 we can double check negative 2 times 2x negative 4x negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2 so there's a little bit of trick here it may be confusing at first maybe it's new for you this is a new lesson so you'll get used to it just try to practice or watch the video again it's not done we can now see that there is common factors of 2x minus 1 on each set of terms we can write it down as one expression and then 3x minus 2 will be written as another expression in a product of two binomials inside the parentheses. And we were able to find the factor of the given 6x squared minus 3x minus 4x plus 2. The correct factor is 2x minus 1 times 3x minus 2. Okay? And that's it. You may watch the video again. It may be confusing because it is a new lesson. Or if you did understand it, you are amazing. Thank you.